best to see so what's on your stories of women. Okay. My story. The story of a woman and a dream. So once upon a time, there was a woman in the West. She's married and she was having a baby. Um, she had a couple of kids. She had a modest apartment with some regular furniture, and uh, they had friends. They would go out for dinner sometimes. However, they didn't have a car. Um, her husband had kind of an irregular. Job. Sometimes he wasn't even working. So they were kind of having a hard time financially. So that's why they were not exactly um, completely happy with their situation. However, they tried to manage as best they could. And um, they believed in God. So they, you know, they didn't uh, complain. So. Her husband had a friend who um, had a steady job. It was, I guess, according to him, it was quite a good paying job. His wife also worked. They didn't have any children. He used to sometimes, uh, you know, he'd say, why, why do you have a degree, you know, and you're such a loser. Actually, I'm going to really enjoy this. Um, it's, uh, just, it's made in Belgium. Living her life. Why, why aren't you very young? He made the husband feel um, inadequate. So he didn't tell this to his wife or anything. He just kept it to himself. He always was trying to get him a job somewhere. There Even was a once factory. Maybe he could get a job there. Unfortunately, it sounded suspicious. His friend had also suggested that maybe he should go through the border um, between Canada and America through these um, um, native uh, reservations and get some illegal booze and cigarettes and sell them. But the husband said he wasn't interested in something like that. His friend always had some kind of scheme or other. It didn't sound on the up and up trying to tell him to get a job here or there. The wife saw a car. She saw her husband running with the kids. He was holding them. She was afraid the wife went to sleep. But she decided the best thing to do was before dawn sometime. In the dream, she was looking at them, but she was not with them. He ran towards this car that was there, the gray car. She woke up very suddenly, and her eyes were wide open. Him and his friends, they came over one time and they saw these cassettes. They saw these small cassettes, very small, a couple of inches big only. And um, they just wondered why did he have these it's things. Some kind of, um, maybe they were looking for a, a tape to why play, have these things to listen to something. Up. And they saw these really small trust them. And they were kind of suspicious. Like only they thought actually that maybe he was recording them. Now you might think this is paranoia. Why would anyone be suspicious like that? So they finally got into this small car. It was red. And um, her, her husband's friend drove them to the doctor's appointment. This was a couple of months, I don't remember the dream anymore. They finally got to the hospital, or actually it was a clinic, and she went in. Her husband waited for a while, and then he got tired of waiting, and he went down to check on the kids. When he came to the car, and there it was, in the same spot, and the kids were fine, and they had chips in their hands. So the husband asked, um, did you guys go to the store? So the husband and his wife, wife called times. She was still uh, in the doctor's appointment. So he waited in the waiting room. 
It's a nice sunny day. Seemed like just any other day. Finally the wife came out and they went downstairs. My husband asked about the baby and what the doctor said. Everything seemed to be okay. Later on, after dinner, the kids were playing. And uh, mom and dad cleaned up and watched TV and watched the news. And uh, cleared the table after dinner. Mom got the kids ready for bed. Mom, mom said what? He drove us across the street and I with him. And then the boy said, I was telling you the guy comes, we should hide in the back. We said, then we saw this guy with blue clothes on. He told us to open the door, but I didn't want to. And then we just shook our head at him. After a while, they just kind of forgot about it. They decided that didn't really mean anything. Then one day, the mom suddenly remembered about her dream, and the scary looking dog with the long hair. She told one of her friends about the dream. The friend asked, was the car the same color as the car that you guys went in? She said no. But still, she couldn't shake the idea that this dream had really meant something. وكذلك جعلنا في كل قرية أكابر مجرميها ليمكروا فيها وما يمكرون إلا بأنفسهم وما يشعرون وإذا جاءتهم آية قالوا لن نؤمن حتى نؤتى حتى نؤتى مثل ما أوتي رسل الله الله أعلم حيث يجعل رسالته سيصيب الذين أجرموا صغار عند الله وعذاب شديد بما كانوا يمكرون